So we've got our drilling operations over here, currently. Where's our multiplier? It is a tier 2. Good. Ah, but we only have one fuse here, so I should, I should order two more fuses. So, um, I might want to move this to somewhere else as well as the other thing, because... The ground here is really uneven and really kind of annoying to place things on. So I think that's a bit more of a plateau up here. It's still really uneven, but it's more open. I think I might be able to place things down more easily. So let's put you there with that. And I'm not reusing any materials from the tier fours, so I can place the tier fives down freely. Oh, okay. Oh my. <laughs> You're a big boy, aren't you? <laughs> the legs are going to be in the air for a lot of these. Alright, so one, two. These are huge. Just slightly excessive. I think that's slightly over uh, overcompensating for something there. Four. I can't even fit them down easily. It's gonna rotate them around a little bit. Where, where's even the? Okay, that's that's where this leg is. It's a behemoths. And I can place one more. And this this should be servicing all of them. I mean, this has a large range, seventy-five meters. So if I put another one like up here, then that should be fine I think as well yeah, these legs are just in the air this was not the right place to put them but I don't care anymore <laughs> it's fine uh, let's get this yeah there we go get the central leg in this way there's a larvae down there that I kind of want to grab too oh it's clipping when it revolves that's a rare larvae let's grab that so kind of stupid to be honest I feel that they should actually be smaller and more concentrated instead of just going bigger that's just yeah that's just silly <laughs> okay well those six being placed down are making more than these ever did i'm fairly certain tier 4 mutagen that means i have amphibian stage amphibian farm noise common larvae oh that's so easy to place too 825 per second animal instead of the four per second of the tier one aquarium all right so you're full we've got one heat multiplier let's get two pressure just because why not we should economize amphibian farms that's right fertilizer common art so easy to make so easy to make two fertilizer two common larvae which i can pick up off the ground if i didn't have them and i've already got two lots of frog eggs time to get froggy with it uh, let's go to the oasis and it's from here that i want to do some more exploring hello hang on a second this used to be dunes as far as the eye could see and if you went too far the screen just turned red now it's an ocean so yeah and this is honestly one of the places I was thinking maybe there'd be containers that we could find. Yeah, is that a container there? No, it's a weird shadow. It's a rock. Okay. I was thinking there might be containers around here. Seems not. It's probably just as well. Oh, it's sandstorm too. But we can have a seaside retreat if we want. So that's cool. Would be cool if there was some like special stuff on these islands if you went far enough. Eh, some coral out of the water. We've got big like mangrove style trees growing. A little island over here. This would be a fun place to put a little base. Ideally, I would want to have uh, teleporter materials before I place stuff down too far away from here. There's also this whole area up here. I can't remember how extensively I explored up there. I remember finding something in behind the crater that I didn't delve into much further because I was kind of doing other things. So I've got a lot of unfinished business in this corner of the map. 
Yeah, there we go. Genetic traits. Magnetar quartz. Yeah, see, this is what I was expecting. If I if I came across this earlier, it would just have, like, cobalt and stuff. Now it's got rods and things. Hello, froggy. It's funny, it looked like I could drink you. Wild frogs. Alright. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to place you guys down, but apparently you just appear wild now. Let's stick our amphibian farms over here it, it just kind of feels like the right place to put things so it's kind of an oasis sort of area and then we've got 500 there these are the ones that we got from the rocket and these are ones that must have come from a container somewhere they look cool not sure what to do with the genetic trait at the moment because i can't do anything with those yet and now we have different fish eggs what do they need Oh, those are rubbish. Why do I only unlock those now? What the hell, game? <laughs> this should be unlocked when these were unlocked. And this should use tier 3 mutagen instead of tier 2. And this should use tier 2 instead of tier 3. What the hell, game? Anyway. We could make some even better butterfly larvae too if we wanted to just kind of roll out expansions uh, essentially because yeah we have tons of those uh genetic traits can go with the phytoplankton there we go rocket engine what do plant rockets take i could send up another couple of plant rockets first drink second okay it's still returning that's fine um oh, seed spreader that's oxygen plant multiply okay so that was lerma seeds i've got a few spare of those and tree bark all right Let's just fire off another couple of those, which I should have done ages ago. Two of those. Tree bark. Not bee larvae. I could send up a ton more insect spreader rockets too if I wanted. That's the thing, is it gets to a point that you can just go ham on the rockets and just multiply everything, which I think is what they expect you to do. I'm way too conservative when it comes to that. Plant rocket. And we've got some new frog eggs on it. Ooh. Ooh. Fire off another one. That's two plant spreader rockets in the uh, Let's get our fuses out and go place those. Um, pressure. Time to really get that pressure down. I can't even read the number, but it's big because it's 1500%. It's like 59 micropascal per second or something absurd like that. I think these are now making this dust storm manifest, I feel. <laughs> Maybe they are, I don't know. Maybe that's actually what happens. And time to get some more heat. It's like I was saying in Selvin's Discord to X to you that like it would be kind of cool if heat was a bad thing after a certain point we could also make some more behemoth heaters if we wanted to could upgrade from from fours to fives but i'm not convinced it's very productive i don't know if i care because i don't unlock anything extra yeah it contributes to just the general ti but so does literally everything that i do so i'm not too bothered i would rather do more on the bio side of things but we're almost at the T2 butterfly farm. And that's the thing with now that we've multiplied insects. That's just, yeah, escalating so much. I just want to boost more and more biomass. And to do that, I should probably just make more and more plant rockets. And maybe just send up some more insect rockets. Because why the hell not? We should have a ton of insects. That's the way environments work. Insects in terms of sheer biomass is generally absurd so let's escalate that we are just covering the world in insects so that's kind of how things work another one i think that's now five plant rocket launch plant rockets Zoom, zoom, zoom. 
I also want to go check these out. Yeah, we have things growing here now. And generic frog eggs. Okay, so that's where I get those from. Um, yeah, I'll take, I'll collect them now. I wonder if they respawn. Um, what can we actually make? We can make Huli frog eggs. Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, tier 4 mutagen, what do I need for that? Tier 3 and tier 1. I, that makes sense. That's, that is just addition. Tier 3 needs nitrogen. Okay, and then was it fertilizer or was it tier 2 fertilizer? It was just that. Okay. Uh, this one. Interesting that it doesn't require a third thing. Uh, bomp, bomp. Research. Let's make some more of those, and then we can place down another uh, amphibian farm. We can put that nearby. Okay, what do tier 2 butterfly farms need? Fabric, for some reason. That's weird. But otherwise the same thing. Okay, well we have a lot of fabric. Or oh, we did. I guess we just sent it off into space but <laughs> we will get more fabric so we're almost finished the insect track now 12 kt and we get traju frog eggs i assume they're good we've just got jiriro fish eggs so we're still unlocking fish we also have fish farm generates animals uh yeah quite a few of them in fact um it's annoying that the amphibian farm was on this track so i can't compare 825 per second 195 per second so not as good but it also creates plants and insects randomly so much fabric in a rocket in space yeah <laughs> oh we have a ton of um sea that's good so we can now make productive fish we are at, almost at the stage that we need to make more fertilizer again <laughs> sea mutagen fertilizer go oh that's the wrong one Ah, uh, see, there we go. Oh, because it moved. <laughs> it moved as I clicked things, I think. Alright. We should probably make another incubator as well, but I'm not using it often enough to care that much. Uh, right, so fish farm. Oh, that uses bio phytoplankton A. That's interesting. It also just uses raw silk, which I want to first use for a tier 2 butterfly farm, so you'll just have to wait on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, there, two fabric. Uh, let's go and check for some larvae. Though I probably want to upgrade rather than... Yeah, rather than build a new one. But I'm guessing it takes more larvae. Let's take the green ones out, shall we? Uh, wait, let's take all of these out and put them somewhere. Oh, we can now make lerma seeds. Why? Okay, so let's deconstruct you and put down a tier 2. Oh, yeah, a bit bigger. Yeah, 250 and 200. There we go. You know what? This is a waste. I should definitely be using this with my uh, golden butterflies. But, oh well. We'll deal with that soon. Soon. There we go. Common lava. Just have to be patient. Good. Uh, which means we can just place that down right here. Why not? And we have some froggies that look like they were in an oil spill. <laughs> Alright. Fish farm, which presumably, yes, you need to place things in. Well, 300%. There we go. We now have wild fish. I'm not sure that's particularly useful. Really? 585 gram per second animals? We just want to place down amphibians, because that does a lot more. We should really have gotten fish farms way earlier before amphibian farms, I think. But for some reason, just the way that I unlocked things, I don't think I did. And fish farm, there you go. I should probably put it further away rather than right near the shore, but whatever. They can swim. <laughs> Tier 2 aquarium, okay, that's probably what I should be making, and I shouldn't have wasted my time on those. I actually uses A, B, and C. And then some fertilizer and circuit boards and a super alloy rod. Okay, that's it. Oh, and it's a double dome. It goes up and down. I don't think I'll be able to place that on my existing base easily, but I can go up another level. And then maybe we can just have it hanging off the edge somewhere. More fish. Oh, that was a different one. Ooh, I think we might have just unlocked another one while we were doing things. So that's cool. 
Torero fish eggs. Where's the Tulu fish eggs? What did I get that from? What did I get that from? That's just is that just a random one? Seems so. All right, well, I'll I'll take it. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That works. That's kind of funny. We now have a, this weird gap underneath, but that works. And then we want to stick our communications array somewhere else. I don't even know where. We it doesn't even be on our base. Why why did I even put it on our base? It can just be over here somewhere. Like I like I really care about receiving communications anymore. I don't want them to talk to me. Do I even have any new messages? No. So, circuit board, super LA rod, I actually need to make some of now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're actually going to need another super alloy shower at some point. We've just been living in luxury for so long. And tier 2 fertilizer and one of each phytoplankton. I knew that keeping the A's and B's around was a good idea. And oh, I need another tier 2 fertilizer. Okay, so that was one of those. Uh, two of those. And a squash. And I'm trying to do this by memory. And a tier 2 mutagen, I think. Or just a normal mutagen. Algae. I think just an algae. Yeah! I remembered! <laughs> Do you remember the ingredients of your aquarium? That's, that's not how that song goes. Okay. Bam! <laughs> it looks so stupid, but I love it. <laughs> okay. We've got butterflies nesting on the inside of the water of our aquarium. I love it. Alright, let's get some eggs to go in there. You're finished. Good. There you have the 400s in there too. And then, oh, uh, of course I used the C up that I had. Oh, I guess I'm not making another one right now. That's fine. Um, because I used the thing. I've got a 100 too, but that's a waste. Well, it takes three anyway. Cool. 100, 400, 300. Perfect. We have fishies. Which I can also appreciate from the ground underneath them, which is moderately hilarious. <laughs> and we have a huge area up here that we can just stick things in if we want to. We can move our aquariums upstairs if we wanted to. I've just got so much space now, so much room for activities. Okay, I think we're in a very good position. I think we want to do m more exploration again. We should probably delve into more of these water pools because I'm not sure how much I was looting as I was coming around here because my inventory was pretty full, I think. And I love that now we have lots of fish in these ponds. There needs to be more plant life in the water as well, though. It would make things harder to see, but there should be. And I kind of want to just collect some silicon while I'm at it. Are there any caves underneath here I wonder? Because there was the big cave inside, the memorial cave. I just wonder if there's any caves underneath as well. Oh there's a, ooh here we go, here's a cave. Ah, oh, golden chest. Okay, well let's start. Oh we get another production multiplier fu fuse any more containers we'll just do a lap i guess of this i've already climbed up it and found that there was some pulsar quartz up there but since i've already mined that it's not gonna have respawned barely certain let's go diving down here as well any more crates of any persuasion golden or otherwise i'm happy with blues I did come around here, oh here we go, but I didn't necessarily, they yeah, are perfect. I don't need more energy multipliers yet, <laughs> but I mean I could put down a multiplier, this is kind of weird, I was half expecting to be able to just stand on that, 
Um, I could put an energy multiplier where I've got my nuclear reactors as well, and at least make them more useful. I've got access cards and stuff on us that we don't need. Ah, rocket. While we're thinking of things, we've probably got a ton of stuff in here. Yes, we do, and a ton of stuff in here. Okay, the fabric we're not going to send. We're going to upgrade some butterfly farms with those, which actually we could just do immediately, because that's literally the only difference, isn't it? Um, especially for our golden ones. Um, because that's 75, that's 475. See? Yeah, okay, the, it takes two, but we're just going to put them in, like, one. But then we can come back and put other things in those. Just a quick upgrade cycle, so that's a thousand as well. Where else do I have butterflies around here? Here we go. You, that's a 500, still, you know, decent. And we'll have one fabric remaining. Cool. And let's go back to the oasis and keep exploring. And we're going to put some flowers up here. Because, why not? Oh, we didn't put the stuff in the rocket, which we should do. And what we're actually going to do is just grab a bunch of these out, just to fill up. Actually, we should grab more of the uranium, because it's worth more. And I'm not using it for as much stuff. Do here. Fill you up with... There we go. Uranium. Good. Gone. Now we can go exploring again. Though now it's dark. That's annoying. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it's now dark. 